okay so let's just all calm down this is obviously a clickbait so if you want to hear the clarence beat you just go there and that's it so i just want to cover a few things about my training uh, as you can see here i'm lifting 190 kilos so i just wanted to show you guys that i'm actually doing the program that i just released for free so here it is uh, I'm just doing here now sets of 5 until RPE 8 and I'm just gonna judge my form just a little bit here so as you can see I'm pulling with the with my round back and yes I'm a round back puller uh, I find it more comfor comfortable that way I never had any sprains or injuries in my back I get uh, really tight so it's not an issue for me it has never been an issue for me and I'm lifting now for over 12 years, so I think I'm good. <laughs> uh, well, if I get injured, I guess you can all laugh at me, so that's pretty much it. So this set, this next set was, I think, around, let's see, 210 kilos. So you can see my terrible shitty form from here. It's around 6.5. Uh, so at this particular workout I didn't actually do conventional deadlifts I don't know from how long so it felt kind of weird I was doing a sumo deadlift just uh, like ease off the conventional a little bit so it felt a little bit weird that's why you can see me that I was uh, thrown out of position many times not just uh, strength is not an issue here because these aren't my max weights but uh, yeah the form started to get a little bit shitty around 2010 kilos so i stopped it there and i didn't do any back off sets because i already uh, did a lot of volume before these sets so yeah that's pretty much it and now we're gonna cover a little bit of my high bar squat so that's uh, one thing that you guys love, high bar squats, everybody loves high bar squats. So yeah, this is my first set with uh, 150 kilos. And maybe it was a little bit too light, I don't know, but uh, yeah, it was, uh, it felt, I mean, on my warm-ups it didn't felt that good but when i did this is my first set that i did six reps so it felt really good and i don't know why maybe because of the warm-ups maybe because i was really tired after the deadlifts and it took me some time to adjust the high bar squat uh, i've been recently i recently incorporated high bar squat and it it has been going really really well as you can see here i am handling this weight on my low bar and on my high bar currently it's much better than my low bar i don't know what's happening with my low bar I, uh, maybe maybe i'm considering to have high bar as my competition lift uh, maybe i'll modify it just a little bit but yeah maybe that's because i'm quad dominant and yeah so not much to say here this is my top set uh, it should have been around uh, RPE 8, but it actually wasn't. It felt really good. But I didn't want to go overboard because also I did around uh, three sets before this set. So, and I did one back off set with 150 kilos. And you will see at my 150 kilo uh, set that uh, it was also really really light maybe maybe even too light so i went uh, and did uh, eight reps with it which actually <laughs> i mean i really miscounted i thought that i did seven reps but i actually did eight reps and yeah it felt really good techniques look looks in my opinion really good uh, and yeah i mean that's pretty much it for the workout after this i did uh, one legged leg press and some up work so actually i didn't record leg press because who cares about one legged 40 kilo leg press and yeah that's it guys so enjoy the rest of the clip <laughs> Hmm. 
Now guys, you're about to see how I squat better than Clarence. It doesn't really matter if he's stronger than me, because his squat starts to look like good morning after 6 reps with 250 kilos, <laughs> while going as the grass. I mean, yes, I lift only 165 kilos in this video, but I can easily do 8 reps with 250 kilos beltless. <laughs> I mean, easy. I just don't want to do good morning squat, you know. What's the point of lifting heavy if your technique isn't perfect? In powerlifting and weightlifting, you're not comparing who is stronger, you're comparing who is more upright in the squat. And even though Clarence is almost two times stronger than me, around 12 kilos lighter than me, more shredded than me... Wait, what was my point? Oh yeah, my point is that even though Clarence lifts more weight than me, that doesn't mean he's stronger, because you're not strong if your form breaks down while doing 8 reps with 250 kilos, I mean, pff, what a loser. To conclude my point, we're now going to do a fair assessment of his last rep with my first rep. You can clearly see his hips rise, he isn't using his quads at all, his quads are turned off right now and if you're not using your quads in the squat that means that I'm better than you and that means my quads are actually stronger than yours. It doesn't really matter what your re one rep max is man, I mean, yeah. Yeah guys, but seriously, of course, Clarence is obviously <laughs> a lot stronger than me, I mean, there is no comparison. And uh, if some of you actually didn't get the joke, I don't know if I feel sorry for you. And uh, Clarence, if you by any chance are watching this video, I'm sorry, this is just meant to be for a video for uh, Form Police on YouTube. And you have probably experienced it also, but uh, you know, it's just a joke guys, chill. I mean, and that's it, pretty much. Well, I don't know if I should say if you like the video, like the video, but yes, if you like the video, like the video, subscribe, and yeah, I don't know. I see you guys in the next video. Bye. <laughs>